Right, let's set up Zoho Mail and uh, link our mail hosting on that domain that we've just set up, right? So if you click here to mail hosting, it's going to say uh, add Zoho Mail to your organization to enable mail hosting. So we want to use Zoho Mail as our email address, right? So I'm going to go over here to applications and I'm going to add an application. And I'm going to search in the top here because there's a few and put in, oops, search mail, right? Email services for your business. Add set up Zoho Mail. And it's going to walk us through uh, and verify who we are, right? So we're just going to have to double enter our password. As a security measure, you need to link your phone with this account. Verify, okay? So put my number in, send a code, right? So this will already register with another account. Yes, this is always an issue with stuff like this, isn't it? Right, so I've just deleted my phone number off my main account and... I have just been sent a verification code, which is quite a long number, Zoho. Uh, 3323849. This is like a, a, um, a temporary code, just to prove that you own that email address or that phone, right? So it sends you a text message, and I verify that I own that, right? So don't worry that you've just seen that. It will change again next time I log in. Congratulations, your phone has been verified, linked to your account. You can use your phone number to log in, reset your password in future. So we're going to continue. And we're going to, it's going to say, look, congratulations, your domain has now been verified. So we know it's been verified from that previous video. Provide a desired username to create your domain based email account by default. The user who signs up first is a super admin. So the first person you sign up wants to be the admin, right? So I'm going to use my name, Paul. You use it however your company sets up emails. Um, I'm going to go very informal, paul at z1exp.com. Don't email me, it won't, I won't check it. Create the account. And it's going to ask me to set up a load of things back in that DNS setting. Uh, -da, you have verified your domain. You can now proceed to add users. Uh, proceed to add and you can import them if you've got a, a CSV file to add users to create their accounts proceed to add users this will launch the add user page uh, in the control panel when you add you will create the individual accounts if you are individual okay and we are done right so at this point I'm not gonna add users because I want to set up my email to make sure it's working Right, if you're an individual professional or other organization, skip this set. So for anybody in big businesses, we'll, we'll come back to adding users in another video. For this one, we're just going to make sure that the that Paul at x z1exp.com works, right? So I'm going to skip this set. Add users, I'm not going to do it. Create groups, I'm not going to do it again. Groups are common email accounts that serve as purpose, you know, HR, sales. Uh, things like that. At this point, I don't need that either, and we can do it again later. Configure email delivery. So we're going to go back to those DNS settings that we did in the previous video. You next need to configure MX records of your domain in the DNS hosting provider, DNS manager, to start receiving email, right? And there's going to be some info on whichever uh, hosting provider you use, right? So I use Cloudflare. There isn't an actual option there for Cloudflare, is there? But here we go. So I need to add these three lines, right? MX records for the email delivery. MXZOO.com with a priority of 10. So I'm going to go back to my DNS settings. I'm going to add an MX record. So for anybody who's just jumped into this video, this will be within your GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, whatever, whatever the other ones were. There's, there's information on showing you how to get to it one-on-one. -on -one. God forbid if you were them, um, name.com, whoever they are, it'll show you the information. But for me, I'm in Cloudflare, and I'm going to go to DNS settings, and I'm going to add an MX record. MX, it's a root domain, and I'm going to paste in that mail server, and the priority was 10. Save. That will add that one. I'm going to add this second one, which is MX2, with a priority of 20. Add MX on the root, paste in, and priority of 20. And save. Final one. 
MX record on the root with this with a priority of 30, was it, or 20 or 50? Priority of 50. It's just the way it looks at one before the other, before the other, I think that. So I've set those three things up as it's asked for, right? Uh, MX records to view the instructions in MX records, select your domain below. That's okay. And then you can test it with this MX lookup. And again, you may have to leave it an hour before it comes through. The following are the MX records available to your domain. There we go. Tick, tick, tick. So that's all right. How do I get rid of this box? Come on. Okay, so you need to fix that box. Go back. I have to refresh the page. That's kind of a crapped out part. Oh, come on, really? If I refresh this, is it going to? Yeah, I've already done that. Skip this. Great. We're going to skip. And we've done that. So we're happy. And then you have to add this text record to allow the emails to go, right? So this sender SPF email spooling is for is forging an email so that the email appears to be sent by someone, whereas the actual source might be someone else. To ensure the valid emails you would domain, you need to put this info in. So right, so again, we're gonna put a text record in and then we're gonna put this value here. So add a text record on the host and I'm gonna paste in that. as the, uh, sorry, as the info, right? So I just add a text on the root domain and then pasted in this information here. Okay, and then uh, in addition to SPF records, you can add DKIM signatures for your domain to ensure better email deliverability. So let's click here. So it gets a bit funkier. Uh, DKIM authentication. So if you go action, edit, so well since I've done this actually. Um, you configure, you configure multiple selectors, example, admin, demon key, do, do be enabled and add. There used to be a little video, it's there, isn't it? Here we go. DKM movie. Uh, I don't know if you can hear sound, but I can't. So you go here to selector and you type in Zoho, save, copy that. All right, so we're gonna go here and add a selector. We're gonna type in Zoho and save, and it's gonna give us this information, right? So now we're gonna go get this. This is the subdomain. It's gonna try and copy all of it. I just want that bit. Zoho dot domain key underscore domain key, right? So I'm gonna add a record that is a text file. That was correct, right? It was a text file. Let's go back here, just double check. I'm pretty sure it's a text file, right? Go to uh, da -da. manage your DNS. This side to do it on GoDaddy. If you've uh, you've got GoDaddy, go to your DNS settings. Add a record. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a text file. TXT. Yeah. You're going to add that Zoho dot underscore. It's going to go back. Zoho dot underscore domain key. That's what we're going to paste in here, right? Paste. And it's going to go back. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go here. And the and the, the um, subdomain is Zoho dot underscore domain key. Get rid of the get rid of your dot domain because it will already pick that up. Copy this text, right, and save. Again, you may have to give it a certain amount of time, but Cloudflare are pretty quick. Let's go to verify. We are unable to text record right now. If you have a added text you need to wait right so we have to wait a little while let's go back to the video and, and see what the rest of the video said so domain key then you're going to paste in that long name that we did 
on GoDaddy, you may want to make it down to 600. That's the minimum that in seconds it can be, which is obviously 10 minutes. You save it. And then, oh, they, you want to go to MX Tools and make sure it works, right? Oh, my God. Copy. So you can go, to, so this is what it's saying, is you can go to the um, MX Toolbox and wait for it to show up before you verify it. Okay. So let's go do that. Let's go um, generate. Is there a link to the MX toolbox here? No, I think you should type it in, right? So we go um, MX toolbox. Here we go. And we're going to look for MX lookup, are we? Was that what they were on? I don't think that's what they were on. Let's go back here. So the MO is an MX local. And we are going to go and grab this. All right, grab this. Type that in there. MX lookup. DNS record not found. D mark not. So basically, wait. You're going to have to wait until this passes the test before you can go back and verify this. Right, because this is going to keep showing an error until this actually works right so at this point it's 907 we're just gonna have to wait around a bit until this takes oh okay so three minutes later i've just clicked verify and it's it just the button vanished so uh an record still not happy up there but i've just i just clicked verify again um and about three minutes later it's it's the button's gone so we're gonna go back to setup and hopefully now we've got a green tick, we've got a green configure, we've got a configure. Email migration. So when you switch your from your previous email provider, you can migrate the emails. So again, this is probably going to be in a different video. If you want to um, bring over from, say, Gmail or something like that, some emails, then you can go through settings to import it. Obviously, this is a brand new uh, domain for me. Um, so we don't need to do that at this point, but if you find you need, you need me to do a video on how to transfer your emails across, we certainly can. I'm going to skip this. Mobile access, if you want to use um, the Zoho Mail apps on your phone, you can. I'm going to skip that as well. Uh, great, add to Zoho One. Great, your basic setup is complete. You are now free. Uh, receive emails. Add to zoho one and if i go now is that tagged me as the as the mail oh let's go back to admin and let's look at apps where's mail meeting not there is it? Is it not there? Is it me? Am I just going blind? Okay, so I have to now go back to. Okay, so it's now added here. So now we're going to have to click on mail hosting. Add to your add. Happy me. Choose existing account. Next, the existing user. Are you sure you want to add your account? Yes. Happy me to our account has been successfully added. Okay. So now I'm going to go to user home. Has that put the mail app? Has that linked it to my mail app? Do do mail here now, look. Happy me security. Welcome. Here's your. I'm going to walk through some information. I'm going to come back to stuff like this. Show any contact, language. Picking up display name, Paul Nicholson, add a signature if you want one, choose a theme, access Zoho Mail. So here's some test emails and let's send an email 
to me just to prove it's working. Hello, test. Hello. I'm going to change this name, don't I? Is my name Happy Me Security up here? Okay, so we've sent it. Waiting for the ping. There's the ping. So Happy Me Security has sent me an email from paul at z1exp.com. I'm going to reply. Hello. This works. Great. Send it. Back to here. We're going to wait for that email to come through. Da, da, da. Come on. Bookmark this page. I don't use your mail, so you have one unread message. Right, just as we're waiting for this email to come through, because it's taking a while, I want to change this so that it doesn't say have a me security here. I want it to change to be up to my name, right? So settings, personal information. No, it's not that. It's not that. Uh, it's sending down here. Go to down here. Um, signatures. Send mail as, right? Manage from addresses. Go here to primary email and change this outgoing name. I'm gonna change it to Paul Nicholson. Update. And now when I go back, close this, go new mail. It now says Paul Nicholson. Test 21, 24, test. Uh, did this work? Right, this time, instead of going through as, my email might, rem might recognize the old name as it comes through. Oh, I have to send it somewhere, right? There we go, Paul, Paul Nicholson. And send. This time it comes through and says Paul Nicholson, right? Now when I'm replying to this, it's not quite working yet. Yeah, all good. 21, 25, right? So that part is sending fine. At the moment, I'm not receiving email though. Right, I'm not receiving the email yet though, so I wanna go here and control panel, and I wanna check out what it says. Oh, your domain emails are not delivered to Zoho Mail. The MX records of your domain uh, are not pointed, right? So I go to domains here, mail hosting, Removal of mail hosting, that's all right. MX records. Oh. Did I click on that then? The SPF, all this is not ticked off, right? It's not happy. So MX, to modify the MX records, go here. Uh, no, we know this, right? We know this. This is the part that can be a bit of a pain just waiting for it to verify. So it can take... Uh, it might take up to 24 hours. If I go to MX Records, MX Toolbox, and look at z1exp.com, it does say, you know, 10, MX2. So it's all happy at that side. I'm just waiting for this to be happy. And um, you need to verify your domain. We've done this. We've done this. Some of don't do uh, add imports. You can obviously migrate the emails. Yeah, we know this. Email, email. So we're waiting. We're just waiting for this to to be happy. The MX records are not pointed. Learn more. We know. So I'm just waiting at this point. I'm waiting for it to be happy. The SPF is happy. The DKIM um, is happy. Is it happy? Oh, it's a bit finicky, isn't it? I'm, I'm 
where are you changing stuff? Because it was working. So again, it's not quite happy, is it? It's making me do stuff that I've already done. So oh, save that, copy that. Maybe it was this bit that it wasn't quite happy about before. Cloudflare. So I wanted to do this, just leave it recording, just to prove that it's not a, a one-click done thing. It's probably why you've not got any setup videos elsewhere. This is oh mate, this is what the that setting was. Save it. Go back here, verify it. So the verify just vanishes. The button just vanishes. It doesn't say whether it's verified or not. If I go to domains here, now the tick there's a green tick here. So the only thing I'm missing is this is is the MX records, right? Configure. I don't think the full stop matters. I don't know why it's there. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do it. I don't have to put a full stop on it. Oh, and there's a tick. Oh, they're now the MX records. Now I've got a tick across all the boxes. Right now, am I going to slowly get anything in here? So let's try it. Pull that Z1 EXP. Hello, test, 21.33, test, the time. So it isn't bouncing back and it isn't saying it's not allowed. It's just sort of not getting there, is it? But it will eventually start working. I may have to just leave it until the morning and finish this video off. But like I said, it's just, it's the funkiest part. But once you've got it set up, oh, there you go. It's just work, right? Hello, test. 20.33, test the time. Yeah, all worked. And send, send it back. And there's the reply. So I, my email's working. The other two emails will probably come through when it just checks in again. Um, so that is how to set up the mail or the first email on your Zoho One. It's funky, it's weird, and I'm pretty sure you'll probably have a few issues. Um, just trying to set it up. You've just got to be patient with it. It may take a day or two, uh, but you will get there. Uh, any questions, for, leave them below, uh, but it could be a few funky answers.